Canada, known for its open arms and welcoming spirit, is making significant changes to its immigration policy. For decades, Canada has prided itself on being a multicultural haven for people from all walks of life, embracing diversity as a core value. The country thrived on the contributions of immigrants, who brought with them new skills, perspectives, and a vibrant cultural tapestry that enriched Canadian society. However, the government recently announced a scaling back of its ambitious immigration targets, a move that has surprised many. This decision marks a significant shift in policy, raising questions about the future of immigration in Canada and its long-term implications. Why the change of heart? What prompted this sudden shift? The reasons are complex and multifaceted, involving economic, social, and political factors. One key factor is the strain that high immigration levels have placed on certain sectors, such as housing, employment, and public services, which are struggling to keep up with the demand. The government argues that a period of adjustment is needed to ensure that Canada can continue to integrate newcomers successfully and sustainably. This decision has sparked a heated debate, with proponents lauding the move as a necessary step to protect Canadian interests and maintain social stability, while critics argue that it undermines the country's values, economic future, and its reputation as a welcoming nation. This essay will delve into the reasons behind Canada's decision to scale back its immigration ambitions, exploring the various dimensions of this policy shift. We'll examine the impact of high immigration on housing, the job market, and public services, and how these sectors are coping with the changes. We'll also explore the political ramifications of this policy shift, including the debates it has sparked among lawmakers and the public, and the challenges it poses for Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, who must balance competing interests and values. Join me as we explore the complexities of immigration in Canada, the factors driving policy changes, and the difficult choices facing the nation as it navigates this new chapter in its immigration story. One of the most pressing concerns related to high immigration levels is the impact on housing affordability. As more people move into urban areas, the demand for housing continues to rise. In major cities like Toronto, Vancouver, and Montreal, the influx of newcomers has contributed to a surge in demand for housing, outpacing the supply. This has led to a competitive market where finding a home is increasingly challenging. This imbalance has driven up prices, making it increasingly difficult for both long-term residents and newcomers to find affordable places to live. The stress of house hunting is palpable as families navigate crowded showings and high price tags. The situation is particularly challenging for new immigrants who may not have the same financial resources or established credit histories as Canadian-born citizens. They often arrive with hopes of a better life, only to face unexpected hurdles in securing housing. They often face stiff competition in the rental market and may struggle to secure housing within their budget. The process of filling out rental applications and attending viewings can be daunting and discouraging. The lack of affordable housing options can force newcomers to compromise on living conditions, settling for smaller spaces, sharing accommodations, or living in less desirable neighborhoods. These compromises can have long-term effects on their well-being or living in less desirable neighborhoods. This can lead to overcrowded living conditions and a lower quality of life. This can impact their quality of life and integration into Canadian society. Participating in local events and community activities becomes more challenging when basic living conditions are not met. How has immigration affected rent prices and housing availability in your community? Have you noticed changes in your neighborhood? Share your experiences and thoughts on this pressing issue. Engaging in community discussions can help bring about solutions and raise awareness. The government acknowledges the challenges posed by the housing crisis and has implemented various measures to increase affordability these efforts aim to balance the market and provide relief to those in need and has implemented various measures to increase affordability. These include investments in affordable housing projects which are essential for creating more living spaces. These include investments in affordable housing projects, ensuring that low-income residents have access to decent living conditions. Tax incentives for first-time home buyers, making it easier for young families to enter the housing market and regulations aimed at curbing speculation in the housing market? These measures are designed to stabilize prices and prevent market manipulation. However, critics argue that these measures are insufficient to address the scale of the problem. They believe that more comprehensive solutions are needed to tackle the root causes of the housing crisis, and that more needs to be done to ensure that everyone has access to safe and affordable housing. 
The goal is to create a fair and inclusive housing market for all residents. Another area of concern is the impact of immigration on the job market. Canada has traditionally relied on immigration to supplement its workforce, particularly in sectors facing labor shortages. However, some argue that the recent influx of newcomers has led to increased competition for jobs, potentially putting downward pressure on wages and making it more difficult for Canadians to find employment. This argument often centers around the notion that immigrants are taking jobs away from Canadians. However, studies have shown that immigrants are more likely to create jobs than to displace Canadian workers. Immigrants bring with them diverse skills, experiences, and entrepreneurial spirit, which can stimulate economic growth and create new opportunities for everyone. Moreover, they contribute to the tax base, supporting social programs that benefit all Canadians. What are your thoughts on the impact of immigration on the job market? Do you believe that immigrants complement or compete with Canadian workers? Share your perspectives on this complex issue. The Canadian government emphasizes the importance of attracting skilled immigrants who can fill labor gaps and contribute to the economy. They have implemented programs that prioritize immigrants with in-demand skills and qualifications, aiming to ensure that newcomers are able to find employment and contribute to Canada's prosperity. Public services under pressure can Canada keep up. The rapid population growth fueled by immigration has also put a strain on Canada's public services, including healthcare, education, and social services. With more people accessing these services, wait times have increased and resources have been stretched thin. This has raised concerns about the sustainability of Canada's social safety net and the quality of services available to all Canadians. The healthcare system in particular has been feeling the pressure. Newcomers, like all Canadians, are entitled to access healthcare services, but the influx of new patients has strained hospitals and clinics, leading to longer wait times for appointments and procedures. This issue is compounded by a shortage of healthcare professionals, particularly in rural and remote areas. The Canadian government recognizes the need to invest in public services to keep pace with population growth. They have allocated funds to improve healthcare infrastructure, recruit more healthcare professionals, and enhance social services. However, Critics argue that these investments are not keeping pace with the growing demand and that more needs to be done to ensure that all Canadians have access to timely and quality public services. In what ways have you observed the impact of population growth on public services in your community? What measures do you think are necessary to ensure the sustainability and quality of these essential services? Trudeau's tightrope walk, balancing welcome with reality. The decision to scale back immigration targets has significant political ramifications for Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and his Liberal government. Trudeau has built his political brand on inclusivity and diversity, championing Canada's role as a welcoming destination for immigrants. However, the recent policy shift has exposed a potential vulnerability, with critics accusing Trudeau of abandoning his core values and bowing to political pressure. The issue of immigration is deeply divisive in Canada, with strong opinions on both sides of the debate. Trudeau's decision to scale back immigration targets has alienated some of his core supporters who view it as a betrayal of his progressive principles. On the other hand, the move has been welcomed by some who believe that the government was too focused on immigration numbers at the expense of other priorities. Trudeau's challenge is to strike a balance between maintaining Canada's humanitarian traditions while addressing the concerns of Canadians who feel that the pace of immigration has been too rapid. He needs to articulate a clear vision for immigration that resonates with Canadians and addresses their anxieties about housing affordability, job security, and the sustainability of public services. This vision must also consider the economic benefits of immigration, such as filling labor shortages and driving innovation. How do you think Trudeau's immigration policy has affected his political standing? Has he struck the right balance between welcoming newcomers and addressing the concerns of Canadians? Share your thoughts on this politically charged issue. A Crossroads for Canada – Weighing the Costs and Benefits Canada stands at a crossroads in its immigration journey. The decision to scale back immigration targets reflects a growing awareness of the challenges associated with rapid population growth. While immigration has undoubtedly enriched Canada, it has also put a strain on certain sectors, 
prompting a reassessment of the country's capacity to absorb newcomers. The debate over immigration is complex and multifaceted. There are valid arguments to be made on both sides. On the one hand, Canada has a moral obligation to provide refuge to those fleeing persecution and a need for immigrants to support its economic growth. On the other hand, the government has a responsibility to ensure that immigration is managed in a sustainable way that benefits all Canadians. Ultimately, the question facing Canada is not whether to welcome immigrants, but how to do so in a way that balances humanitarian ideals with economic realities. Finding the right balance will require thoughtful policies, open dialogue, and a willingness to compromise. Do you think Canada is making the right move by scaling back its immigration ambitions? Why or why not? Share your perspectives on this crucial issue facing Canada.